Hey everyone, it's time to build it better. Okay, do you have a project at your house that maybe you think is way too difficult for you to tackle? Well, let me tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. In fact, here's my problem. I have a brand new living room light and it has eight bulbs. Well, at nighttime, it's just a little bit too bright, so I want to be able to dim the lights for mood lighting. So what better way to do that than to add a dimmer switch? So of course, I'm here at Sutherland's looking at their wide selection of dimmers. Okay, look at these. Here's one, this is nice. Look, there's a on off switch right here with the dimmer on top, or you have the full length on off with the dimmer right here on the side. Then you have your traditional look on off right here and the roller right here on the side. Now, for my house, I already have this type of light, this full length. So I'm gonna take that one. Oh, it's right here and we, oh, look, this is really cool. It comes with different colored plates to match your existing uh, outlets. Look, they have the almond color, so you can easily trade that out. Now, I have white, so that's perfect for what I need. And I promise you can do this. So let's get going. Okay, now I'm in the room that I'm installing the new dimmer switch to create mood lighting for any occasion. I've got it out of the box, and really, installing it is super duper easy. Just make sure you read the instructions that come with the dimmer switch. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. So come on, let's get started. The first and most important step is to make sure to turn off the power to the switch at the breaker box. Then remove the faceplate. And the light switch you'll be replacing. Gently pull the light switch out of the junction box. Now, as a precaution, I like to use an electrical tester to make sure there's no power running to the switch. When you're dealing with electricity, you can't be too careful. Next, remove the wires from the existing switch. Now it's time to install the new dimmer switch. Dimmer switches may vary and might have more wires than you need for your light. Make sure to properly read the instructions that come with your dimmer switch. For this particular dimmer switch, we'll be using the black wire and a red wire. Twist the black wires together. And secure with a wire nut. Then twist the red wire to the white wire and secure with a wire nut. Then place the connected wires into the junction box and insert the dimmer switch. Screw the dimmer switch to the junction box and replace the faceplate. Then finally, turn the breaker back on and test the switch. Okay, the power's back on. The light works. Now, let's test the dimmer. It works. So now I can set the proper lighting while I'm watching a movie or reading a book or just a nice quiet evening at home. In fact, I love this dimmer switch so much I think I'm gonna install one in the dining room and in the kitchen. Maybe the bathroom? Mm -hmm. All right, so I got a lot of dimmer switches to install. And don't forget, don't just build it right, build it better with Sutherland's. I'll see you there.